on Big Brother 4. G became the first ex to be crowned head of household. Oh, that is hot. <laughs> this is so... After consulting with his allies, Robert and Justin, G made a move against Erica by nominating her for eviction, using Michelle as a pawn. I have selected Erica and Michelle as a nominee for eviction. It was great to see Erica get put up on the block because I need her out of this game. That's the only way that I will win. But the power in the house shifted when David won the golden power of veto, forcing him to make a tough decision between his ex and his ally. Good job, man. Definitely for using a golden veto to get Dana up on the block. What are we saying? What are we doing? How are we going? What's going on? Dana right now has no idea how many people are gunning for her. June, Michelle, and Allison attempted to lighten the mood with a vegetarian fashion show. Yeah. I was thinking, this is pretty damn good. But the tension mounted as David prepared to announce his plans for the veto. If David uses that veto power to save Erica and he expects me to put up Dana, the message that I'm getting is that you guys just don't care about me at all. Pressured by G to keep the nominations intact, David opted against using the golden veto. Now that the veto hasn't been used, Erica is gone unanimously. The whole house is going to vote against her. Will Erica or Michelle be the next house guest evicted from the Big Brother house? Find out live on Big Brother 4. Good evening, I'm Julie Chen. Welcome to Big Brother 4. It is day 19 inside the Big Brother house. Last week's nominee for eviction is this week's reigning head of household. G, the bookkeeper from Elmhurst, New York, set out to evict Erica, the Pilates instructor from Los Angeles. To ensure her departure, he put her up against 19-year-old Michelle from Boca Raton, Florida who many believe to be the least threatening player and therefore the most unlikely to be voted out of the house. Will his plan work? We'll find out tonight when one of them is evicted live, putting the remaining 10 another step closer to winning a half million dollars. It's been a busy week as the house guests fight to stay in the house. I don't feel like being friendly to anybody today. I feel like telling G to go put his head in the toilet. Well, I'm pissed off at G because, you know, I wish he had a backbone and wasn't so easily manipulated by Robert. Morning, Erica. Erica seems like she's taking this pretty tough right now. I guess she's like, it's hitting her now that she, there is no chance, right? Yeah, it has to be done. Well, obviously, Michelle was put up there as a pawn because I wanted Erica to be, uh, be the one to be evicted out of the house. You're safe, basically, you're safe. No, that's fine. The head of household, you know what I mean, says something. And everybody follows. Everyone really wanted Erica to go at week one. Basically now, you know, I'm the one that's uh, in the head of household and I have to go follow through with that plan. Because I'm like, doesn't the pawn usually leave? I'm like, well, you know what, these are new people and last week, you know, that didn't happen and that okay. will be the same thing exactly. this week. Um, I haven't really been worrying about it too much. I just would like the week to be over already. But you know, you can't really go around saying, oh, I trust you yeah, people I, with, you I know, because totally you can't. can't. I gave my word to Michelle that I wasn't going to evict her. I want to see Erica go. I have to pass. If everybody votes out Erica, it makes my life really easy. That's just horrible. That sucks. Uh, I want to pass. Things are fixing to get really hairy around here. This guy needs to make sure how people are voting. Who? Yeah. Gee. Who are you worried about? Jack and Dave for sure. No one. It's unanimous. It's going to be a unanimous vote for Erica to be gone. That's that's a definite thing. There's not they one vote going her are way. are voting to evict her. I believe it'll be unanimous that Erica you know, is evicted out of the house. If you want the whole and absolute truth, I think that G is a moron. I'm confident. I feel good. Yeah? 
Yeah, I do. I've tried and tried again to convince him to put Dana up on the block, but because of how you're feeling, I feel like ass. G doesn't seem to be playing the game to win. Sexual favors? I'll give you sexual favors. They, the exes, don't think there'll be any votes for Erica. I got their number. We just got to no back down now. No, we can't back down now. We just got to protect Erica. They're wrong. It's like playing chess. It's like you know you're going to throw something out there. It could be taken, but you, you really feel like it's going to go the other way. But there's still a chance that you take it. David and Jack have both told me that I'm safe. I have no idea if I am because everybody in here lies. I don't think anyone is thinking that G and I have any sort of alliance. You just have to keep being careful. <clears throat> nobody suspects anything. The alliance I have with G... The alliance that I have with June... ...is probably... It is actually the most important alliance. ...the strongest one I have in the house. So, are you being extremely smart about how you're playing this game? You have to play this game smart. Oh, yeah. You have to be smart and not tell anyone about our conversation. Of course. When you're together with someone for nearly six years, there are a lot of things that are just understood by either, you know, a look, a gesture. At first, those little communications G and I had were in Korean. Erica, how is that? Oh, gosh. It's crap out there. Yes, because of the X Factor situation in this house, and because that June and I are exes, um, that is a really good cover. Guys, You're freaking mocking me, right? What are you talking about? I just asked you what you said. Yeah, because you heard, and that's why you smiled like that. I didn't hear you, dude. Right. Good lord. All right, I get the message. Peace out. We've kind of played along that we don't like each other, and it's because, sincerely, there is this underlying um, disdain for each other. Get away from me right now. Get away from me. People have eyes and ears. I don't really trust anyone in this house, but I have to trust her for the time being. Damn freaking dumbass. Hmm. To trust her or not to trust her? That is the question. Oh, yes. Thank you, God. For getting me through this day and for allowing me to now go to sleep. I would definitely like to stay. I just kind of have to, you know, see where the cards fall. Let's check in with the house guests and see how they're doing. Hello, everyone. Hey. 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 How's everyone doing tonight? Hey. Hey. Good. You guys all look great. Thank, Thank you. you. So do you. Thank you. <laughs> David. Can't see. Can't Robert. Can't see you, Can't see you though. You can't see me? Oh, 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 so you gave me the comp someone gave me a compliment before seeing me. Yeah. I have a question for David and Robert because the two of you have X's on the chopping block. And I want to know how has that been for the two of you? David, why don't you go first? It feels great, Julie. <laughs> Bitter. Um, okay. Michelle and I Michelle and I have had our differences, but um you know, she's up there, she's not up there, no uh, no different feelings. It was five years since we went out, so. Playing the game. Yeah. Robert? Uh, I actually feel the same way. It's just part of the game, and I am happy, though, she's leaving, though. <laughs> oh, well, we'll see. We will see. <laughs> I want to turn my attention to Nathan, because, Nathan, you've had a pretty tough week. Yes, I Only have. Only eating peanut butter and jelly. We've been watching you suffer. How are you holding up tonight? I'm, I'm barely holding up. <laughs> barely. <laughs> Has that affected, you know, how much you can bench press? Uh, I cut the weights out completely. Mm. <laughs> so I'm just dwindling away. Got to win that food challenge. Allison, meanwhile, you seem to have become the Muhammad Ali of the house <laughs> with your boxing gloves. But I want to know who was your tougher opponent, Justin or Nathan? Um, probably Justin. He's more my size, so uh, I couldn't <laughs> see anything <laughs> Okay. June. Yes. You have a real talent with food. I do. Even when it comes to fashion. That's right. How did you come up with the design for the vegetarian bikinis? <laughs> oh, well, you know, I just wanted to, I wanted to make sure everything was color coordinated. So, you know, it was red and green all the way. So, little cherry tomatoes for the 
jiggly <laughs> accessories on the, on the salad bikini. Very nice. Final question is to Jack, because you were in the FBI for 30 years. I want to yeah. know if you think any of your fellow house guests would make good agents in the Bureau. Oh, yes. Yes. Care to name names? Yes, Justin. Is he the only one? No, there are more. All right. Okay. Yeah. Don't want you to reveal too well much. Really? All right. Thank you, House Guests. I'll be back in a little bit to speak with G, our current head of household, and of course to his two nominees, Erica and Michelle. Michelle, a little bit later. Thanks, everybody. Night at the Roxbury. Coming up, we'll visit with four members of Big Brother Three, including Roddy. Are he and Kiara still together? And did he ever mend fences with Danielle? But first, tonight is eviction night. Of the 11 remaining House Guests, only eight will cast their votes. The nominees, Erica and Michelle, are not permitted to vote. Neither is G, who as head of household will only vote in the event of a tie. As always, all votes are cast in secret in the diary room. Let's listen in as Dana, Allison, and Robert are the first to place their votes. Erica is an ally right now, but eventually will be a threat. Michelle is a girly girl. Um, I've kind of felt like I've had to make sure nobody takes too much advantage of her. Michelle, who I call Mini-Me, likes to go around the house and listen to other people's conversations and bring them back to me. So she's kind of out there doing my dirty work, and I like it. I'm scared right now. I, you know, right now the decision that I make is really going to affect a lot of relationships and a lot of situations in this house. Just because you think going with the majority makes you safe, it doesn't. Because that majority will turn on you in a second. Erica as a player in the house, she would be strong, definitely. So I, and because she's my ex, it would obviously be her or me. Basically, it's her group of people and my group of people, and we're not gonna, it's never gonna come together. I vote to evict Erica. Welcome back to Big Brother 4. The two women up for eviction tonight, Erica and Michelle, may be different ages with vastly different lives. But these two beauties do have one thing in common. They're both sharing the Big Brother house with an ex. I'm always like the young one everywhere. Michelle is a young girl, 19 years old. It's uh, 14 months out of high school. She's like, 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 like me and like me. What you see with Michelle is what you get. It was like, wow, wow, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Oh. 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 I think they think that Michelle is young and innocent and doesn't really know what's going on, but I think Michelle does know what's going on. I can't trust anyone. It sucks. I could not believe it. I said, Dennis, you're not going to believe this. David is our big brother. I actually was relieved to see the girlfriend because they've still remained friends. David and Michelle, uh, even though they're exes, they're friendly exes. And, uh, Although they do they, fight they, a lot. David, seriously, you need to walk right, right now because I am seriously going to take all of this and throw it on top of your head. They're almost, it's almost like a brother-sister relationship. Get the hell out of here, David. I swear to God, I'm going to smack you in the face in a second. Oh, she's so oh. pissed. Seriously, I'm not I'm joking. I'm in such a bad mood right now. I don't think you're <laughs> either. As far as David, and is teasing, I absolutely do not think it's motivated by any leftover feelings. You know what I realized? What's up? I'm not attracted to Michelle anymore. She's not my type of woman. I mean, she, she wears a gown and makeup everywhere she goes. Michelle being in the house, it doesn't deter me from hooking up with other girls. I think, I think you'd be the coolest chick to date in the house, or not. I was very surprised. He is an adult, and uh, I have no control over that. I think that's something that maybe should happen in the privacy of your own home. Usually I don't make the best decisions like that, but I really don't regret anything. <sighs> Grandma's gonna love this. I think like a 57 Chevy in a parking lot behind a dark building would have been a little more appropriate. What did you do with Amanda? Ooh. Oh, just kiss. You can always come to me, okay? Thank you. That means a lot. Good. Erica is what I would call a dream daughter. She's obviously beautiful. That kind of goes without saying. It's okay. 
She's very giving. She's very, very generous. Oh, good morning. When Robert walked through that door, I think Erica was shocked. Kind of like seeing a ghost. It looked like he wanted to walk out of the house and never come back. We're not friends. We never were friends. So what do you want to do, hang out now? I just don't want it to be an uncomfortable situation. They were a great couple for a while. They were an item. And then uh, I think it ended kind of nasty. I just, you know what, Robert, I could really care less about this place. I already know that you're, you know, you don't want me here. And that's fine. You know, I can go home. You don't want me here. Don't pull me. Don't act like you don't want me here either. I'm here, like, to play the game and especially to get her ass out before me. That's for sure. I have my ex-boyfriend here. Right. Who I despise. Right. Anything could be better than this. Oh, no! Robert is an outgoing, friendly guy, and Erica is kind of a princess who can be nice sometimes, but most of the time, she's ice cold. That reserve, that cool element is, you know, it's just a facade, because I know her as being very warm and loving. I think it is because of Robert. I think it's because of his presence in the house. He betrayed her. That's the worst. In the outside world, I'm always moving, doing the chicks. I mean, this is bull. It's killing me today. Robert dates multiple women at the same time, all the time. He's about as bad as it gets when it comes to women. I need to have sex very soon, dude. He's a big dog, for sure. No doubt about it. Robert's a loser. Get it, Big L, okay? Loser. Erica right now is concentrating on getting Robert out of the house. And I really don't think she's thinking about too much else. It's time to talk privately with G, who's sitting alone in the head of household bedroom. Hi, G. Hi, Julie. Just so you know, the other house guests cannot hear what we're saying, so you can not speak freely. Okay. You have formed a secret alliance with your ex. But you and June clearly do not like each other. How far do you think this alliance will take you in the game? Um, however far it takes me, um, I'm going to use her for my advantage. And, um, you know, I have to do uh, this for my benefit. You know, it's going to be, um, I have to just kind of get further into the game. And if that means I have to stab her in the back in the future, uh, that's what um, I'll have to do. I'm just going to use her until I can. Okay. Since eight house guests are voting, you will only vote in the event of a tie. Do you yes. think it will be that close, G? I do not think so. I think it will be unanimous. I think um, Erica will be the one to be evicted out of the house. If it turns out to be a tie, then obviously I will stick with my plan and uh, my decision to evict Erica out of the house. Okay. You went from nominee last week to head of household. Yeah. Has anyone treated you differently since you won this position of power? Oh, of course. Everyone's coming in here kissing my ass and, you know, it's easier for me to uh, read people, engage people much much more easily so um, I do I do enjoy it it's kind of entertaining but um, at the same time I I, um, I know who's um, you know who's telling the truth and who's not mm. yeah now you are not eligible for the next head of household is there anyone you'd like to see get it uh, definitely I would love to see Justin and Robert get the um, HOH if not I even though um, everyone wants uh, Dana to be leaving um, I wouldn't mind Dana getting the uh, HOH as well interesting yes all right Thank you, G. And no you can problem. rejoin the others now. Okay. Nice talking to you, Julie. Same here. Okay. Take care. Coming up, Jason, Danielle, Lori, and Roddy. What have their lives been like since Big Brother 3? But first, Erica and Michelle, the two nominees. After tonight, only one will remain inside the house. Let's go back to the diary room as Nathan, June, and Justin cast their votes. Michelle's my snuggle buddy. I really would like to keep Michelle in the house. Um, we get along great. Eric is definitely a threat in this game to me. She has pointed me out as being one of the stronger players. I feel like I need to strike before she gets the opportunity to. I think Erica is a threat to me as far as having Jack and Dave kind of um, in her little web. They're definitely entangled and doing what Erica wants them to do. Erica's a strong player just in the sense of she's a very intelligent person. She points out to people like strategy wise what we need to do. I'd like to see Michelle, you know, stay in the house because she doesn't bring anything bad to the table. It's all good things. I vote to evict Erica.
Welcome back to Big Brother 4. In a matter of moments, we'll discover live which house guest will be evicted this week. Will it be Erica, the Pilates instructor from Los Angeles, or Michelle, the college student from Boca Raton, Florida? But first, last summer, the house guests from Big Brother 3 were locked in their own battle for a half million dollars. Now, one year later, let's see what Jason, Lori, Roddy, and Danielle have been up to. Are you a virgin? I am. You are? Yeah. That's it. Keep it to yourself, man. Yes, I'm still a virgin. Since the show ended, I mean, just like one of the most amazing rides, just the doors and opportunities that, that have been opened to me are just unbelievable. So I'm just kind of living this, uh, you know, the 16th minute <laughs> and having a great time. Bass come in on that F sharp minor. That's it. And I've been traveling with my band some and having a great time and doing the whole music thing. Search my life with your overflowing love. I think if I had to do all over again, I would have tried not to let go of that key. Urgh. From the house, I've kept closest to Danny. Um, actually, she and her husband and her kids are gonna come vacation with my family in Alabama this summer. You know, we're, we're the dynamic duo, and I love the girl, and she's awesome. I believe there might be a lot of backstabbers in the house. Sure. Hello, Hello to the Northland. My life is insanity defined. I'm working here in Duluth, Minnesota at Red Rock Radio Corporation. I'm in radio sales. High energy here. You gotta have it. A lot of colorful people I'm working with. I work the station during the day, out to the country, bartending, filling in when I can at night. The only thing that scares me about bartending out here is that I'm really good at it. I would not have played the game any differently than I played it. I think you guys Do it should. right now. You know I, think you should. Need I say what I mean. Come on! Who's the spokesperson? Who started it? And I carried that through. I was very consistent. Lori, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Very well. I was able to walk out very sure of myself. Come on in the studio. Looking back, I think I came out of it a real winner. I really do. Well, I think it's a year ago this week when Big Brother started. And uh, thanks for helping out. I guess it's all over. Cheers, guys. Thanks. I've been riding a lot. But I've been playing a lot of golf. I attend a lot of charity events. To lend the, the Big Brother name out to a few charities has been a big thrill. Big Brother was the biggest adventure I ever went on. I hope it's made me a better rider. It's made me a better person. Mr. and Mrs. Big Brother. Kiara and I, she's fantastic and she's fun and she's cool. But it's Kiara and I are friends. I'm out there and single. I see Josh a lot. Does that count? Freaking devil! <laughs> He's the devil! Do I think Roddy is the devil? He's so good with words. Ooh, big pause, huh? <laughs> he makes it seem like you're being emotional and crazy. All that says is that you're being a weasel. <laughs> <laughs> Am I sorry that I called him the devil? Nope. None of that stuff was personal. No one meant any of it. When I left the house, I got a phone call from 24 Hour Fitness saying, we saw you on the show. Up, 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 pull up. 12, 13. Would you like to be a personal fitness trainer? You feeling that burn? Come on, 15. I'm doing my dream job. Don't you love me? Love to hate me. Here we go. And of course, Jason. <laughs> Jason and I are so close. Yeah, I looked after my little brother in the house. Absolutely. It's weird people say, why him? Why Jason? Because I trusted him. Congratulations, Lisa, by a vote of nine to one. You are the winner. Some people say, I lost 450, but I won $50,000. So I'm glad Lisa won. If I couldn't win it, and if Jason couldn't win it, I'm glad Lisa won it. I met 11 wonderful people that I never came across in my life. And what they shared with me, I'll, I'll always carry it with me forever. It's been an emotional week for the two nominees, Erica and Michelle. Let's go back inside the house and talk with them for a minute. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hey, Julie. So Julie. Erica. Yes. Michelle. Hi. One of you is about to be evicted from the house tonight. <clears throat> what would you like to say to the group? Erica, you go first. 
Um, I just want to say that it was a pleasure meeting most of you, <laughs> um, since I already know one of you. Um, and I had a great time. Thanks. It was great. Michelle, now it's your turn. I've had the most amazing two weeks. All of you guys are great people. You know, I've been on this peanut butter and jelly diet. I've been on the block. It's been a hard week, but all of you have made it so wonderful for me. And thank you so much for making this experience so pleasurable. Okay. Thank you, ladies. And I'll be back a little bit later to reveal the final vote. When we return, Big Brother 4's next live eviction. But first, let's revisit the diary room as the remaining house guests, David and Jack, prepare to cast their votes. Michelle's mode of thinking isn't along the lines of what she needs to be thinking in this house. Um, she needs to be deceitful, she needs to be conniving, and Michelle is too much of a sweetheart um, inside for her to do that. Michelle doesn't seem to be playing the game. Her strategy is to do basically what Nate asked her to do. We need Erica in order to help us get rid of Robert Justin G. She's a very strong player that who I'd like to have on my side. Erica is a member of the Alliance, a strong member. We need Erica. Michelle is an ex. The Alliance must move forward with one heartbeat. I vote to evict Michelle. I vote to evict Michelle. Welcome back to Big Brother 4. In just a few minutes, the results of this week's live eviction will be revealed. Who will be asked to leave the house? Erica, the Pilates instructor, or Michelle, the college student? 19 days ago, they both entered the Big Brother house with dreams of winning a half million dollars. Tonight, one of them will walk away with nothing. Now let's see how the house guests voted. House guests, it's time to find out who will be evicted, Erica or Michelle. Just a reminder, when I reveal the results of the voting, the evicted house guest will have one minute to say <coughs> goodbye, gather their belongings, and walk out the front door. By a vote of six to two, Michelle, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, oh my God. Michelle, Hi. go ahead and put your bag down and come Thanks. on up here. How are you? Okay. Nice to meet you. Have a seat right here.
That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. Head of household, head of household, let's do it. Head of household, right here, right here. The game is wide open, fellas. We already know what's going on. Okay. Alex, you know she has to go? That beer? Mm-hmm. I mean, Would you like some? Okay. I need like a sticky one. Well, Michelle, how are you feeling right now? Um, I'm actually, I'm doing okay. It was a huge surprise, actually, to me. And, but it's understandable somebody had to leave, so. Why was it such a surprise? Because from the beginning, they told you you were just a pawn? Everyone told me that I was the pawn and that I was fine and I was definitely going to stay and no worries. So it kind of hurts me that, you know, they lied. But it's just the game, so. What do you think happened? Do you think they were lying from the get-go, or do you think just the plan shifted? I don't know. I guess I was just out of the loop. Um, the thing is, G, you know, told me that I was 100% safe and that, you know, I had nothing to worry about. So maybe that's why it's so hard, because he kind of, like, broke his word to me, and so did everyone else that I thought was... My well, I'll tell you something. As surprised as you feel, you're not as surprised as some of the guys in the house right now. Uh, David, your ex-boyfriend, said he had your back, which in fact he did not. Um, he was not one of the two votes to keep you in the house. Does that surprise you? Um, yeah, that really surprises me because David and I have a lot of history. And, you know, I would have his back. I know we have our differences and I fight with him like he's my brother, but... Does this I mean there's no friendship between the two of you once he's out of the house? Um, no. I could never do that. You know, it is just a game. He had to make his decision, so... Well, you did leave an impact on your house guests and they each yes. taped a message to you in the event that you were evicted tonight. So let's listen to what they had to say. Okay. Hi, Michelle. Um, I know this is hitting you like a brick in the face right now. You're such a sweet, loving, caring, trusting girl that you're better off not being here. Trust me when I tell you that, because I'm the total opposite and this place is already eating me up. Michelle, I, I know that it's been hard living in um, this house with me. We haven't seen each other in a while, but it's it's been a pleasure having you here. It's nice seeing you again, and uh, I hope we can continue our friendship outside of the house. I'm going to miss you, Carly. You're, you know, the one that I wake up to in the morning, so um, it's going to be hard to sleep without you. You're a little too flaky for me to count on you in any way in the future, so um, go back to Boca and tan your butt off and have a good rest of the semester. I, I really don't understand, you know, what could have happened, but uh, obviously things are flipped upside down now. You will be missed, and you know I love you to death, Michelle. I want you to know that I care for you deeply, and I'm, and I wish you the best. Just stay out of trouble, girl. Talk to you later. Any final thoughts? This is so hard for me. It was just, you know, if I wasn't told so many times that I was going to be okay and that everything was going to work out as planned, then, you know, maybe this. I wouldn't be this upset, you know. You feel betrayed, this life. I, I do. Yeah. And I'm sure, you know, in the end it'll just make me that much stronger and I am young and I have so much, you know, more, but... Yeah, you were the youngest one to ever compete in, in the history of Big Brother, so you should feel proud about that, Michelle. And as you already know, you will not be on the jury to decide on who wins Big Brother 4. The jury will be made up of the final seven evicted house guests who will be sequestered until it's time to vote. But we will see you back here on finale night in September. In the meantime, I hope your brother and your father can help you feel better because we flew them in from Boca Raton. And they'll be coming right through that door. <laughs> Thank you.
When we return, find out who will become the next head of household with the power to nominate two more house guests for eviction. The live head of household competition is coming up next. In the Big Brother house, no position carries as much power as head of household. The head of household enjoys unique privileges like a private bedroom and laundry service, but the title also comes with the responsibility of nominating two house guests for eviction. With that in mind, it's time to see who will become the next head of household. House guests, the power is up for grabs. G. As the outgoing head of household, you cannot compete. Earlier today, we had the rest of you randomly divide into three groups of three. I'm going to ask each group a question. The first person to buzz in will give an answer, but you'll only have a matter of seconds. If you answer incorrectly, you must step aside. If you answer correctly or are the last person left standing, you will advance to the final round. If after two questions there is not a winner, your group will be eliminated. The winner of each group will then face off in a final round, and that winner will become the new head of household. Does everyone understand the game? Roger. Then let's begin. Group number one, question. On the night the jacuzzi was uncovered, how many house guests stepped into the jacuzzi? Justin. There was 13. That is correct. You move on to the final round. Jack and June eliminated. Please all step to the side. Okay, group number two. In last week's head of household competition, how many people tried to answer the first tiebreaker? David. Three. That is incorrect. You have been eliminated. Please step to the side. I will ask the next question between Erica and Allison. What color was G's duck in duck ball? Allison. Blue. That is correct. Congratulations. You move on to the final round. And group number three. How many people voted to evict Amanda last week? Nathan. 13. Uh, 12. Incorrect both times. Please step to the side. You've been eliminated. Between Robert and Dana, the question is, how many total casseroles were there in the Clash of the Casserole food competition? Dana. Ten. That is correct. Congratulations. And this is the final round. Dana, you can stay up there. Just slide down. Justin and Allison. Okay, this is the final round. I want the three winners to listen closely because this round is a little different. If you answer a question wrong, you're out. The first person to answer two questions correctly or the last person left standing will become the new head of household. Are you ready to find out which one of you will become the new HOH? Then here we go. How many people in the house are older than 30? Allison. Three. That is correct. You have one point. Next question. How many evicted house guests get to vote for the winner of Big Brother 4? Dana. Seven. That is correct. If Dana or Allison get the next question correct, that person will become the new HOH. How many people will play in the next head of household competition? Justin. There will be eight. That is correct. You made the scoreboard. Next question. How many people left in the house have been nominees? Justin. There is. That is incorrect. Step to Next question. Whoever gets this right becomes the new HOH. Which bedroom in the house has the fewest beds? Allison. The love room. The love room? What is the love room? Um, and that is incorrect. Congratulations, Dana. By default, you are the new head of household. Thank you. And the correct answer, by the way, Allison, is the head of household has the fewest beds. G, please hand over the key. 
Thank, Thank you, you house guests. Nice job, everyone. Good job, girl, right? Congratulations. When we return, a peek at some upcoming events. Ten house guests remain, and Dana, who many wanted to see on the chopping block, is now in the position of power. Tune in Friday at 8 Eastern, 7 Central, to find out which two house guests Dana nominates for eviction. And on Tuesday, also at 8 Eastern, 7 Central, we'll find out if one of those two nominees will be saved by the power of veto. And one week from tonight at 9 Eastern, 8 Central, I'll be back for the next live eviction. For now, we leave you as we eavesdrop on the house guests. From outside the Big Brother house, I'm Julie Chen. Good night. I meant everything I've said all week. I've meant everything that I said all week. You'll get to eat. I know. You'll get to eat. Oh, I have to do all the announcing of the competition. Well, I know you can do that for sure. No problem. You can do that. I want to press the button. Oh, you didn't get to? Yeah. I'm not sure how to do it. I couldn't even think of the question.